Continuing on the press line for Rick and Morty, and finally the moment has come where we talk to our old friend Justin Roiland. Hey, how are you? Great. The last time we got a chance to talk to you, uh, you called in when we had Chaos Chaos performing yes. on the yes. show. Yes. Yeah. I love those girls. They're amazing. Right. And that's the, the choice to use that song for the potential suicide scene yeah. for Rick told more than any dialogue could have by just using that song. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's funny. I, I've been a fan of them since they were little girls. Like they, 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 uh, They're from Seattle. They started when they were 8 and 10. They were discovered by, um, I, think J- I think Jason McGurr is his name, from Death Cab for Cutie, the drummer, Death Cab for Cutie, uh, just in a music store he was working in. And uh, I think um, Chloe was just on the drums and like just he was like, you should buy her a set of drums. And, you know, and, and then Aussie was like, they were like, what, what can she do? Well, she fucks around on the piano. And, you know, next thing you know, they're writing like very sophisticated. Their first album for a I think they, that they wrote that when they were 10 and 12. That album is like so sophisticated. There's a couple songs, there's maybe three songs that are very much their age. But the rest of it is all like. This is fucking a, a ten and twelve, or at the time an, uh, a nine and and an eleven year old. Are you kidding me? Really insane. Um, and then I then, and then they changed their name, and I lost track of them. They released three albums as K or as Smoosh, and then I lost them. And then I somebody I don't know who it was told like or I rediscovered them as Chaos Chaos, and I'm like, oh my god, they're still doing it. A little bit more poppy, you know, the new stuff. The old stuff was way more like melancholy and j- just. Dramatic. Dramatic. But the new stuff still had that in it. And that song was a song that I discovered and I was like, oh my God, it's such a good song. And I was just like, I'm going to use this song in the show somewhere. And then that just was a perfect spot. And then we had them score a few things. Like they did that memory song in the, in the flashback scene in Parasite, the Parasite episode. That was an original they did for just for that scene. And, um, and then now, now they're just hard at work on their next album. You know, like they're, they're like holed up in a studio and, and, uh, like uh, uh, North New York, or I don't know, is that yeah? Like, yeah, they're in the Brooklyn area, I think. But they're like out in the sticks of New York, uh, actually writing and recording in some, I guess, abandoned church or something. It's really interesting. But uh, their Instagram is fun to watch. Very, very interesting. Yeah, and and Aussie's such an artist. You know, it's like like she'll text me like lyrics or text me like uh, uh, just randomly like just weird things like 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 you know you sh- you shouldn't use your phone for like three days. And just walk. And I'm like, <laughs> just such an artist, you know? Like, it's really great. I love it. But I love their music so much. I'm like, I, I, I'm very anxious for their next album. Well, you were nice enough to call in because we just had them on. And uh, we talked to you for a tiny bit. And then you came on, uh, called into the show because we're big fans of Rick yeah, and Morty. Yeah. And uh, at one point, we told you we were on a red carpet for WWE. Uh, their, I think it was 2K16, the game they yeah. were releasing. And we found Seamus. Yes. It was a huge... <laughs> Yeah. Rick and Morty fan, but a huge Mr. Poopy Butthole fan because he was wearing a shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I love him. I, and I put you in, I, I wrote to you, I'm like, you got to find a way to cross promote that yeah, thing. Yeah. Is Seamus going to be in season three? I can't say anything. I want him to be. And we're still at a place where he can be. The, the, the casting process is very, it's not normal. It's like we're so f- flying by the seat of our pants with every aspect of production on the show that it's very hard to sort of like be premeditating and thinking like, okay, this person's going to play this part because that the way that we're going, that part might not exist in a week. Like literally, we're like just constantly rewriting and changing and tweaking and re-breaking. And so, and I've already had to deal with the, the, the repercussions of that, you know, casting people that I'm excited about and then only to call them and go... I'm so sorry, but like we re- and they, we recorded them and everything, and it's it's not even that they did bad. It's like they did fucking amazing, but it's like we rewrote the story at animatic, and like we had to change everything and gut it, and the part that you played is cut. And blah, blah. I mean, it's already happened, so I don't want to do that to Seamus. He's the nicest dude ever, and he'll bro kick you. Yeah, he'll beat the shit out of me. <laughs> no, you know what the best thing with Seamus? Like Seamus, actually, I've hung out with him a few times. I, I got to put him in VR, uh, the HTC Vive. I, if you haven't tried it, we did. We oh were going to get to that next. It's life changing. But I put him in that for the first time, and he was playing a game called Arizona Sunshine, uh, which is an amazing game. I don't think it's officially out yet, but uh, and um, he 
he I was so worried he was just gonna punch his arm through my my, my window just because he was he was he was just like the zombies were coming at him and he's you know and I and I, and I, I recorded it and I remember tweeting it out and tagging him and he's like hey man because I guess he I think he's what the fuck and he's like oh man can you just don't tag me in it because like I, you know I, I got a lot of kid fans I was like oh sh- I'm so sorry oh shit I didn't even think about that I, I got such a potty mouth uh, we'll get into virtual Rick Alley in just a second uh, yeah. but season three uh, season two was very heavy with musical influence and and uh, telling more of the story like we said yeah. than dialogue could have uh, you with uh, chaos chaos with nine inch nails yep. uh, was that a David Bowie song that was during with the nebulous cloud I mean very much inspired by yeah. you know yeah for sure and our and our uh, uh, a guy named um, uh, Ryan Elder does all the score theme song for the show and and um, He's just in, insanely talented. So you give him a sort of area, you say like, make it sound kind of like this, and he'll he'll hit it out of the park every time. Maybe Jerry gets into ska next year. Come up with something like with real big fish. Yeah, I mean, we 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 well, we we had a whole musical episode we wanted to do this season, and it just it never it just got pushed pushed. So many other ideas, I and mean, we have too many ideas. You know, it's like it's focusing, like focus, focus. But uh, so far, there hasn't been any real music heavy. But when we get into color. Uh, that's when we really start playing around with drop, like music needle drops. Like, okay, what are we going to use here? What are we going to use there? And there's a few, but nothing, nothing, um, nothing like set in stone yet. Well, everybody's happy to know that a season three is happening. Uh, there's no real set date as for the Maybe release. Me too. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> I couldn't imagine how they wouldn't greenlight a season three. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, well, it was funny. Like season three was sort of a foregone conclusion, and then. I don't know. It's it, it, it. The network is amazing. I mean, it, like Lazo and Keith and all every Walter, everybody over there is just amazing. And um, honestly, like I've I've been through a lot of development, you know, hamster wheels at a bunch of different networks. And the 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 Adult Swim team is like it's it's a very one of a kind sort of. I think the only other place that might be like that is Netflix, where they're just like they trust the creative. They're like just do your thing. Um, and all the notes calls are Lazo, just like just small talk because he's he's like it's great. I don't have any notes, so we're just like BSing about stuff. It's amazing. Um, I love that guy. We're running out of time, so three quick things with yeah. you. One, what can you tell us about season three? Um, it's a little bit darker, but still hilarious. Uh, we're exploring char- like Beth. We're sort of opening up Beth a bit. I feel like that's an underserviced character, and we're trying to really like. Make dimensionalize her a little bit more this season. Um, beyond that, yeah, there's not there's not a ton because it's like we really want to. We, we, it's, it's a lot of cool stuff that we really want to keep 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 surprise keep, keep people surprised when they're watching. All right, number two, if you ever have an episode where maybe Jerry's in the car in the shower listening to Hack Radio DJs, we're available. <laughs> okay, absolutely. All right, all right. And finally, the third thing is before you go, and since I think we can consider you a little more of an acquaintance, than, uh, I can call you almost a friend, if you yeah. will. Uh, we have your exclusive Funko Pop. Would you sign that for oh, us? Oh, fuck yeah, of course. I'd be happy to. Yeah. Justin Roiland, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. We can't wait for season three Everyone of Rick and Morty. Everyone HTC Vive or an Oculus, whatever your preference is, but the Vive has room scale and motion controllers out of the box. But please go Go buy it and support VR, please. Thank you. That made me go buy it because I was I like the amazing. VR stuff, but I got to play it. I if, was. If people knew the stuff that's being developed, that's that's just around the corner to release, they would they would yeah they would it would be. I think they'd be sell, they're 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 keeping a tight lid on a bunch of stuff that's being developed, but it's like. It is insane. It is the future of video games. It sold me. I was destroying stuff. I was trying to drink from the flask. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you tried the. You tried the. Thing. I tried to drink from the. Oh, yeah, we tried it yesterday. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, Justin. Oh, we appreciate you're your time. Absolutely. Thank you.